a tackle right around the 18 yard line. Didn't even have to dust off my N64 for this one. Didn't have to dig out my Cordell Stewart emblazoned copy of the original. Didn't have to figure out which of three ways to hold the control. Nope, just downloaded it for the PS3, though XBLA is also an option, and proceeded to pick up right where I left off, with ultra-violent, penalty-free arcade football action. I could call this game NBA Jam on Grass, and I will because that's exactly what it is. It's from the same tap that gave us not only the original and most recently rebooted arcade-style sports franchise, but also the utterly forgettable NHL Hits with a Z and MLB Slugfest with no Z. What an arm, what a pass, and what a catch! NFL Blitz is all about over-the-top football, bad announcer banter, and high-scoring action-packed games. Take your Madden-style statistical analyses and sabermetrics elsewhere, friend. Here, the word of the day is obscene. Basically, you can play like James Harrison every down without fear of retribution. Hit a guy out of bounds? Who cares? German suplex a runner who gave you the wrong juke? Hey, make Steve Blackman proud. Choke slam a wide out on the one yard line? It's blitz, baby. Rules are meant to be laughed at while you cold cock defenseless receivers. Since the field is more open and it's only a seven on seven game, the definition of a good play needs to be expanded. Since it's so extreme, you're expected to get 30 yards on each set of downs. The point after a touchdown is literally a given. Just click on the box and you're awarded the chip in, unless you want to go for two. The field is your burrito. Make that tackle right around the 16 yard line. All the NFL teams are represented here, plus some special hidden teams comprised of pirates, zombies, blue mutant league football, and even a team of bipedal horses. I kid you not. Look at these guys putting the brony back in jabroni. You can unlock them by beating them in the Mortal Kombat style Blitz Gauntlet mode and activate said cheat using a three symbol code system much like, well, like Mortal Kombat 3. Or if equestrian events don't particularly suit your fancy, you can instead assemble your own team of superstars. This requires the accumulation of points earned by playing online head-to-head -head games so you can buy packs of cards representing each player. But don't grow complacent with your super uber team. Each card also has a green health bar labeled contract that limits its use. Fortunately, both sides in an online game can potentially earn points, so there's something to be gained by not rage quitting. Thank Lombardi. The last thing we need is a progression and collection system based on the premise that people on the internet aren't jerks. Oh, intercepted! It's blitz, baby. There's a lot that can be forgiven. Sure, the announcers can be horrifyingly, even comically inane. Sure, the mechanics feel much dicier than in a polished retail release. Sure, it's full of horses. But put those aside. This is a game about absurdity in football, two of my favorite things in the world. And as the real game gets more and more protective, despite Colt McCoy not knowing where he was that one time, the kind of visceral thrill that comes from watching a runner get jacked up goes by the wayside. Sure, I can understand the position of trying to protect the player's health. Enter these digital surrogates who can take a lickin' and keep on ticking. This is the football you want to see but can't see anywhere else. This is football as it was meant to be. A barely disguised, all-out brawl. And here we go, second down. And he's gonna run with it. 